Hi everyone, Rich Crescenti here with another in our series of videos making music with Melodyne and today we're going to be continuing to focus on the very tight integration between Studio One and Melodyne. Now in this series of videos we've been discussing how to do that and we've done a few different things, right? We, first thing we did was we had a song that we didn't know the tempo of and as a matter of fact it was performed by actual human beings so there was even a slightly variable tempo as well so in the first video we extrapolated a tempo map from that and then applied it to all the other songs in the next video we use that tempo map and we use Melodyne uh, on every single track to time stretch to speed up and slow down the whole song wherever we wanted it to and now in this video what we're gonna do is go over how to take in loops and make those loops adapt to the performance of a live band. And there's a few different ways that we can do this, so I want to show them to you. And it's very, very easy in Studio One. All right, so let's take a look, right? First thing I want to do is I'm going to bring in a tambourine loop. All right, so let's look at this tambourine loop right here. I'm going to bring this tambo loop in and drag it right to the beginning of the chorus at bar 21. And bring down the volume just a little bit on it right here. And let's give this a listen. Okay, so this is clearly, this loop was not performed at the same tempo as this song, so it doesn't match up at all. And we need to change this tempo to match the song. And you can actually do this even just using the Studio One time stretching algorithm. So let me show you how to do that, right? Very first things first. In this example, we know this tempo. I know this loop was originally done at a BPM of 110, right? So we want to come over here to our file tempo right here and tell it, Tell Studio One what it should be. We type in 110. And the next thing we want to do is deal with how Studio One uh, handles tempo changes. And I want you to watch this clip right here when I do this, because right now it's set to follow, but what we want is time stretch. We want Studio One to stretch audio in regards to tempo changes. So watch that clip. When I go to time stretch, you'll see it stretches out. And now when we listen, we get... Okay, so this is clearly stretched to match the tempo of the song, and it is playing along at the right tempo, but it's not really locking in as well as we would like it to. And this is an area where I think Melodyne excels above all of the other time-stretching algorithms, right? So let's try Melodyne and see how well that works. Very, very easy to put Melodyne a track inside Studio One. You just select that clip and hit Command-M and it's gonna put Melodyne on there right away. And one of the first things we wanna do is come over and use the right algorithm. Always important in Melodyne. Now, I had this set to universal as the standard last time, and that's because last week we were time stretching a lot of different types of elements, right? We were time stretching drums, which would normally use the rhythmic algorithm. We were time stretching bass, which is you know melodic, which would normally use the melodic algorithm. Bass is monophonic. We also had guitars and pianos, which are polyphonic. So in an instance like that, where you're stretching the whole song, or sometimes like a, a, a loop or an entire mix down, universal is the best way to go. However, here, we're just working with the tambourine. So we really want to choose the percussive algorithm, right? So I'm going to choose this, and it's going to say, do you want to redetect it? And it's automatically going to redetect it. It automatically sees, you know, that the rough tempo was originally 110, and it's put it at... 93 right here. So now when we listen, we get Great. Now we've got that tambourine and it's locked in better. This is the secret to the Melodyne algorithm, in my opinion, is, is the way that it time stretches, right? And the way that it works is it doesn't stretch the transient. It doesn't stretch the loudest part of the audio. It stretches out the quiet part. So you get a very accurate time stretching that works really well and still sounds like the original. It's one of the reasons that I like it. Okay, great. So in this example, we we knew the tempo of the audio we were bringing in, but what if we don't? What if we want to bring in a loop and we don't know the tempo of it? This is very, very, very easy to do, right? I'm going to mute this tambourine loop and then I'm going to bring in a shaker loop and bring that into another track right here. Okay, same thing. I'm going to bring this shaker loop right over to bar 21 and bring it in and let's give it a listen we've 
got the same exact thing. It, this loop was not performed at the same tempo as the original song. So now we need to alter it, right? So let's go to Melodyne. Very, very easy again to put Melodyne on a track. Just hit Command M and it will automatically pull this up, right? And we, first thing we want to do, of course, again, is redetect. And we'll go to Percussive and redetect this algorithm. And right away, we see, again, we see this flashing light right here, right? This flashing light is telling you you need to do something. So all we want to do is go to our Assign File Tempo and we go to Note Assignment Mode. It's telling us it thinks the original tempo of this was 100. That's great. We can come back over here now, and when we listen, we get... It's not working, right? Because we forgot to go to time stretch. The moment we go to time stretch, now when we listen, we get... Great, we've got a shaker that now locks up perfectly with this band's performance right here. Now, almost all the time, this is gonna work exactly the way that you want it to, but let's say you wanted something a little different, right? Let's say you wanted this to play at half time. All right, you wanted this loop to perform a little differently. Very, very easy to do, right? That's a simple, we can go into note assignment mode, right? And remember, note assignment mode is where you change the way that Melodyne is detecting things. And this is important for this time stretching right here. If I wanted this to play at half time, I want to come in here and choose, uh, apply a constant tempo to this and choose 200, right? And when we put this in, it will change. It's thinking about it a little differently. So come back over here and now we get... Halftime tambourine. Now, I probably wouldn't normally work this way. You know, I liked the other way better. I thought it was better, but you never know. Whatever you want for the song will be what you need it to be. Great. Now, one more quick thing I want to show you. I want to go back to the previous track. I want to go back to the tambourine loop right there because I want to show you something. Let's say you assigned a file tempo, but you were wrong. It wasn't quite working properly, and you want to redetect that. Okay. So I'm going to open up Melodyne on this track right here. And what I want to do is I want to show you, let's say we had our file tempo and we were originally typed in 111 as opposed to 110. Right now, when we listen to this, we're going to get... It's not working properly. So we need to redetect the tempo, right? Very simple. Once again, we're just going to go right into our note assignment mode. We want to select all of that audio. And this is where you're going to come over here to the edit portion. We're going to drop down to tempo and we're going to choose detect tempo of selection. This will re-detect the tempo that we've got right there. And you'll see it's actually not 110. It's actually 109.99. Again, Melodyne showing how accurate it is in terms of detection and correction. Now we can come back over here to our edit mode. And when we press play, we get... Call me a rebel, call me. Great, a tambourine again that matches up perfectly. Even though we edited the information incorrectly in the first place, we use Melodyne to redetect that tempo and correct it. No problem. Now Melodyne knows the tempo of this and can stretch it no matter what you do. So if I come over here and grab this loop and I bring it to the second chorus, right? If I go to the second chorus, which is at bar 38, I can come right over here and press and paste this in. And when we listen, we'll notice that Melodyne actually sped it up. I want to point out our tempo map right here. I have the second chorus a lot faster, even faster than I would normally go for demonstration purposes. But check this out. Melodyne will now speed up the tambourine to match that, even though there's a tempo change. Great, so now we've got this audio loop that will adapt to whatever tempo changes you have in the song. Lots of different ways to bring in loops and make them adapt to your song. Hope you've enjoyed this today. Thanks.